Alright, so I've got a great story. I started the episode, same as normal. Came down to the cave again to try and find some more blue shiny rocks so that way we could uh, mine obsidian and build an another nether portal and possibly get off our tiny island to look for s new resources. Only to realize that I got down here, started mining, and didn't uh, didn't start the recording, so starting the recording now. Part way in, I found two diamonds. Had to really dig for them, along with a little bit of iron, a little bit of lapis, some coal. Pretty pretty normal caving things. Which. This is pretty good. We're going to try and find another blue shiny rock in here before we uh, go back up. Just so that way I can try and get the uh, obsidian before I have to go up and then come back down for it. Oh, wow. Thankfully, I came prepared with the second pickaxe. So, I'm just gonna chat about a movie that I recently watched with a friend the other day. A movie called Nightcrawler. It has Jake Gyllenhaal in it. From what I gathered, he plays an insomniac that, uh, is also a sociopath because he lacks human emotions and he channels that into a career as a video journalist just blatant disregard for anything remotely decent as he goes out at night and records like crimes in progress and, and such this is a this is a good movie I probably won't watch it again just because like it was a little over two hours and I found that I laser focused the entire time I was watching it so by the time I got done it was just I was dead tired and I basically checked out for the entire rest of the day I'd recommend like if you haven't seen it and if you think it sounds interesting I would recommend giving it a look just because it it was it was a good film like don't get me wrong it had its moments that weren't the best but at the same time it was kind of it was it was, it was well enough all right well let's run back around here and back into the lattice work did I really just run in a gosh darn circle? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, Alright. Lava, lava. Okay, this is where we came down at. Yep. We'll pick up this coal on our way back up. Because it looks like I'm going to have to go back up, get a diamond, come back down, mine the obsidian. No big deal. Just takes time. Adds a little bit more time to the already tedious process of mining obsidian, which seems to take forever unless you have a haste beacon, which at some point we might get, but that's a ways off because I have to go to the nether and like find a fortress so I can set up a decent collection uh, area for wither skeletons. Ooh. Okay. Darn you thing. Back if we go to get that diamond, so that way we can yet again come back down into the ground. On the upside, if I ever once I do get the uh, enchanting setup going, the amount of uh, stuff I'll be able to enchant right off the bat is going to be enormous. Just because I have so many levels from gathering all these things. Okay, two diamonds. Oh, I just thought about it. Just 
Dang it. I'm gonna have to find two more shiny blue rocks. Before I can, uh, enchant, because I don't have the diamonds to make the enchanting table now. Crap. Oh well. Oh. Like I said, this uh, mildly tedious work in Minecraft I actually find to be very enjoyable. Just throw on some music or like a YouTube video or something, and just plug away at it until it gets done. It has to be done. No way to really uh, get around that. Of this stuff. Put away the wood. Don't need the axe anymore. Um, now we'll grab the stuff that we're going to use for the nether. Let's see. Cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. We're just going to make a ginormous cobblestone ugly bridge in the nether. Probably five or six. Uh, fire. Uh, let's see. If I do two rows, three stacks long, it's uh, almost 200 blocks. Uh, that should be sufficient, I would say, to uh, get me off this island area and away from this spot. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Switch picks. Alright, so I need four, eight, fourteen. Yeah, I need fourteen blocks of obsidian. <sighs> Might as well just mine eighteen right now and get the four for the enchanting table. so much better if I had a haze beacon or efficiency on this pick. But I have to do baby steps. I gotta do this to get that. Oh man, I moved off the block. Crap. Finally figured out a way to paint a Dark Eldar army that I've had sitting in my bedroom for like two years now. Which is good, super simple too. I'm basically painting them up like statues, so base coat is like a dark gray. Then I uh, sponge brush black onto them to get in the. Uh, low light areas and then I highlight the armor dry brushing it with like a light gray so they look like they've been uh, sitting outside for a while whether so, so far I've done like 20 models not, not terrible since I just figured it out the other day and hopefully I'll be able to knock out the rest of the armies it's, it's a fairly large chunk of people that I have to paint I think my list is like 110, 150 models, including vehicles, which is pretty good. I don't know why I'm doing this, because Games Workshop has done nothing to endear itself to me in the past, like, I don't know, eight months since I really stopped playing, playing the Warhammer 40k. Just became a little too. I don't want to. I don't want to call them out, but I'm gonna say it's a little too Matt Ward for me. And then, like in this seventh edition, it became utterly preposterous with the army list that you can bring now. It's just, oh yeah, basically bring whatever you show up to the game shop with, which is gay. It's oh, it's it's 
it's absurd. It's like, before it was like, yeah, build an army, like, actually try and think your way out of some problems that might arise because of your list. And that, But now it's just like, oh, yeah, I have the best guy from this codex, the best guy from this codex. And just like, that's really not how the game was supposed to be played, team. Not to mention the fact that they fired, like, the best writer for codexes that they had, Phil Kelly. Well, they didn't fire him, I think he just resigned, which is not good because he wrote some of the best backstory fluff for characters ever. And now that he's gone, I worry what they're going to do with some of the uh, smaller races in the game. But we'll see. Hopefully within the next six months they come out with a uh, 8th edition. Is there a witch chasing me? There's a witch chasing me. And all you dropped from me was spider eyes. You poisoned me and dropped spider eyes. Worthless. Alright. Go back up. I think we're going to take all the cobblestone I have out of the chest, and then use it to build a two-wide bridge as far out from my portal as I can get. So that way, when I do set up the new portal, it will be... There's no chance it'll be uh, interfered with by my current portal, because I really hate to build two portals, have them both come out on this island. Alright. Replant a tree farm, take a sapling. This way, this way. Why do I always do that? I'm just like, oh yeah, this. Alright. Do that. Okay. So I now have. An okay amount of cobblestone. We're gonna uh, we're gonna put the pick back. Yeah, we're gonna leave the diamond pick here. Call me crazy, but it seems a bit insane to take the diamond pick with me on this trip, especially because I have no idea where I'm going to come out at once I get out of this portal. Or once I go out of the portal that I'm building here. So like, yeah, let's just take my super valuable thing with me right now. Oh, this chug. Okay, we're gonna start making this too wide here, so that way hopefully, should a guest spawn around here, it does not blast me into the lava immediately. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. I just thought of the greatest thing ever, which would be if while building this, or what a like build the second portal, go out, and then just like 
I come out on a smaller island somewhere that's less to it. Like, that would be terrible, but hysterically funny at the same time. Just, oh yeah, and still nothing. Okay, please don't hurt me, zombie pigmen. Okay, there we go. So I've got this little area here that I can do this in. That's gonna come right down on top of me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Make sure. Okay. Good. We have a. Uh, we have gone over enough to avoid that. Lava drip. Cause that would have been so bad. Just do 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 do, and then right into the lava. It would have been hysterically funny. But at the same time, I would have felt so bad because I would have lost all the cobble that I brought with me. Plus the obsidian for the portal. Plus the bow with the most health that I have right now. Plus all of my arrows. Basically, it would make me have to do a lot of prep work just to even consider coming back and trying to finish this task. going now. Wait, first of all, let's check. See zero nether fortresses on the horizon, which is sad. Like, I really kind of wished that when I tunnel, or that when I pillared out of here, or not pillared out here, but like built this walkway out here, that I was going to see like, oh, nether fortress right there, and just be able to like bridge to that. But sadly, it does not look like I'm going to get that lucky here. Like, I'm really lucky so far that I haven't heard the little of a gas shooting at me, but at the same time, it would have been a little nice to have, uh, to have another fortress just, like, miraculously be popped up in front of me. Oh, I'm going to have to take a break from placing blocks here in a second because my nose is really, really itchy. Oh, come on. Come on. No farther. Oh. Oh. Oh goodness. Oh god. It's really bad too because it was one of those times where it's like, I know I can't itch it, so it itches that much worse. Just like, no, you want to itch me, don't you? Wow. I have seriously made a bridge. It comes out here. It basically goes to the same place that I have walked on the surface to get to. That is very depressing. Okay. 
getting back on the walkway. God, some of the noises you hear in the nether are just absurdly creepy. It's like, oh yeah. And now the floor is talking to me. Okay, let's see where the end of this long road is going to take us to. So let's see, I have 56, so 25, 28. I go 28 more blocks, then I turn around and I come back. Oh, hi. How's it going? Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, zombie pigmen. How you worry me so. Because just like one zombie pigmen getting upset at me screws up my entire day. <laughs> There we go, so... Okay. Oh, where's that coming from? It's not another fortress. Where's that coming from? Oh, there it is. Oh goodness. I hear a ghast, and he's really angry at me, but I can't see a ghast. Two, three. Two, three, four. Okay. Alright, and it looks like this is where we're going to end this episode, team. Next episode is going to be a whole new world. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, and please do leave a like and a comment. The feedback really does help me. Have a good day.